you have to find the right place. We'll let you sit there with a little table and your books and get up and give a little yeah, I've spiel. Done that. I've done and that as too. people go by, uh, and that's very local. Um, have you joined any local author organizations? I really haven't, and my wife keeps getting on me to do it. Yeah. You know, I haven't, but when I was on News 12, I had went to Barnes & Noble, mm -hmm. and I had asked for the store manager to let him know, does he have copies available if people want to order them? Mm -hmm. And not to go into a long story, to make it short, I we know. had a little bit of a dispute. Yeah. <laughs> so I went to the district manager, and he actually gave me a night by myself, which is for the rocking chair. Mm -hmm. I forgot what year. It was on Thursday, November 6th. Mm -hmm. Usually they would take about five or six different self-published authors and let them come and talk. I had my own night. And it was wonderful. I had a wonderful turnout. Yes. And he also said to me, since that whole experience had happened, that he would stock all my books. So at one point, all my books, I think at the time I had four, were in all the Barnes & Nobles. There were only seven of them, but all the ones on Long Island and also the ones in Queens. So my wife has a cousin in Forest Hills that we visit yearly. So she's... I know right that Barnes & Noble. It's like off... Um, it's on uh, Austin Street. Queens Boulevard. Street. Yes, Austin Street. We walk in... I and, grew up there. Oh, did you really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, in, in uh, Forest Hills? Queens. Oh, okay. In Queens, not far from there. Oh, okay. Middle Village. Okay. I was from Ozone Park. Then we moved to Queens Village, not too far. So we walk into the Barnes & Nobles, and on a pedestal by itself is the rocking chair with a spotlight on it. Mm -hmm. Going up, do you know how they have a second floor mm -hmm. of the escalator? Mm -hmm. Right in front of the escalator. It was like a dream. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, when you self-publish, you're not a James Patterson. So my wife and my kids and her cousin were like, go, go, go stand by and tell people you wrote the book. And I should have, but I was a little uncomfortable and I didn't. So just recently we were talking about that and I regret that I should have said to the manager that I'm the author and you have it on a spotlight mm -hmm. if anybody wants a signed copy. You know, I didn't think of it. And then I, you know what? All the marketing I did, it's all about networking. Then yes. I knew somebody whose cousin worked in Penn Books, you know, Penn Books and mm -hmm. Penn Station, mm -hmm. and they carried my books there. Mm -hmm. Then I went to Montauk, and I went into their bookstore, mm -hmm. and I spoke to the girl there, and on consignment, she took my books. So at one point, I was in all the Barnes and Nobles, I was in Penn Books and Penn Station, and I was in Montauk. To me, it was a dream, and the books were selling. Mm -hmm. But again, life gets busy, and you get yeah. sidetracked. And I know. So yeah. a lot of the marketing I did, I mean, I've gone full force and gung-ho, but unless it gets into the right hands, like an Oprah, and what a, mm -hmm. truthfully, you know, Linda, what are the chances that's going to happen? Yeah. Well, basically, I talked to, I did Book Expo this year because Archway had a, um, was doing a reception for their self-published people, so they okay. invited me to go, so I went. I've done Book Expo. Where is Expo. that? Book Expo is at the Javits Center. They do it every year. Uh, okay. You could go for a day for about, um, it's like $125 or something for a day. I would suggest that you go on Independent Book Publishers Association website. Okay. It's IBPA, and um, you can join for $129 a year, but they give you ways where you can uh, get your book at least on a shelf at Book Expo. It's oh, the really? big trade show for books. I did, I, I did hear of it. I never really pursued it because I was marketing It's overwhelming. Everything. The first it? time I went, I said, why did I do this? Because it was just so overwhelming. But this time I went to the Archway booth, and actually I spoke to the woman. I said, it's all Internet now, isn't it? And she said yes. And she Even said, "And that's the internet." And it's it's so. But but the whole thing is that there are a million things you can do on the internet to post your book. Uh, this book contest, this book cover contest, that was on the internet. Um, now, you you send me an email and remind me, and I'll send you a list of okay. the places on the internet I where you can that. post your book for free or cheap. I have a whole file in my computer. It says free and cheap. Oh, do you really? Yeah, because okay. because it's endless. It's like going into the most amazing maze you ever went, and you never get out of it. There's always some other place that it leads that to. That it could lead to? Wow. But there's a lot of um, you know places to post your book, and basically what she was telling me is that your big advertising occurs on, on the Internet now. Everything's the internet. Now. Well, I'm excited for you for your book cover. When are you going to yeah. know if it won? Uh, well, I didn't. It's my it's my illustrator, but of course any any uh, publicity well, she gets, I get. back to you. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I I will spend this weekend sending emails out to everybody I know to vote on it. You, I, I send them a link and they find my book on this grid and then they just click on it. Click on it and they have to write a comment and um, and vote and share. I'll do it for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. You'll be on the list. I appreciate it. So what's next? You know what? I would love to say that I have a couple of ideas and I've tried a few. I have them on, you know, Word on my computer. Mm -hmm. But I want that next bestseller. You know what I'm saying? Like, doesn't everybody want that? I want, like, sure. you know, Hunger Games 
or I can think of a Virgin Isle, um, you know, idea. And then mm -hmm. I, what's that other one that was really good with, um, oh gosh. Uh, Deception or Interception or whatever. <laughs> the one no, it was with the Harry act. Potter. No, 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 it was, um, oh gosh, I can't remember. It was that uh, actor that's real popular now. He was on. He was the on the cover of People's Magazine for the best looking. Bradley oh, Cooper. Okay. What was that movie that came out? That was a. Uh, yeah, he I know. played like a. A crazy person. Crazy. Yeah, I can't think. I can't I'm drawing a blank. The name of it. Yeah. Well, anyhow, that's. I mean, if I could think of an idea like that, right now I started about maybe ten pages because every time I run into people, they say to me, "When's your next book? When's your next book?" Sure. You know and. They have all, no mercy. Yeah, and first of all, like I said, it's six months of grueling thinking. I know. You know, I start with just an outline in a folder, and then mm -hmm. I add, and I take off, you know, and then these characters come to life for you. You know, when people talk to you about them, like, mm -hmm. you know, I don't want to say too much about these books, but one mm -hmm. of the main characters actually dies in it. I mean, I could say that because you don't know which one it is. There's mm -hmm. many, many in it. And I read a Nicholas Sparks book where he had a sequel. And I got to know the characters so well, the guy and the girl. And then in the third book, he kills one of them off. Now, this is before I did that. I said, why would you do that? I got so used to them, you know? <laughs> know? And I'm like, how could you do that? So I did that to one of these characters, and everybody said the same thing to me. How could you do that, you know? And I had no pity, because I wanted it to <laughs> strike a chord where they would have been emotional and upset, and apparently it worked, you know? Well, I hope you really do get a great idea and a bestseller. Well, I appreciate it. For both it. of us, it was Thank great so to have you. Thank you so much for having me on your show, and I look forward to maybe coming back again to you. when I read, write yes. another book. Thank you. Yes, absolutely.